Are you ready? You're on. Cool. Okay, bro. Mom wanted me to tell you how to not, well, be me. Because you're getting a school laptop this year or whatever, and we all remember how that went with me and how much money I owe mom. And Emily's sister is getting a laptop too this year, so we're doing this for the both of you. Your laptop has to last you through all of middle school. If it breaks in middle school, you're messed up until high school. And if it breaks in high school, well, I'm gonna tell you how to keep your laptop working right so that it doesn't crash in the middle of something important or break when you need it most. The first thing you'll want is something to carry it in. Something with padding. Okay. You'll want a bag with a water bottle holder on the outside of the bag. You'll want to keep your netbook away from water and food. <laughs> Emily, remember that one time in the cafeteria? Hey, how was the summer? Like, how you doing? Oh no! And so that means keeping away from food, water, and other idiots. I mean, other people, like Jake. You'll also want a bag that's big enough to fit your laptop in, even with all your other stuff. That way, you avoid forcing it into a tight spot and accidentally cracking the screen. Also, be careful how far you open it. It has a limit. That's right, that's what happened to your first computer. So when are you gonna show them how you actually use it? I was just getting to that. Battery. Power jack. Power cord. And once it's charged, on button. Audio jack. Jake, hey. We're almost done here. Can you be normal for a minute, please? USB ports for flash drives and stuff. SD drive, ethernet port. So you can connect directly to the network without Wi-Fi because somehow not everyone has Wi-Fi and sometimes you need a direct connection to download official district stuff. HDMI and VGA ports. So you can connect to the projector to do presentations. And the webcam. So what else do they need to know? Once you turn it on, press the Control alt delete buttons all at once. Then click OK. That means you have read and understood the acceptable use policy. More on that later. Then log in using your student username and password. If you have any trouble logging in, the school librarian can help. Make sure you come to school every day with it fully charged and ready to use. Otherwise, it could stop working at exactly the wrong time. There are some ways to save power to help get you through the day. Minimize the use of large applications, like the webcam. You can turn down the screen's brightness. Or you can turn off the Wi-Fi if you don't need it. <laughs> don't need a Wi-Fi. <laughs> Just click the network symbol at the bottom of the screen and choose the network called LWSD-WLAN and click connect. When you're done with your computer, close the laptop lid and remove any attachments like flash drives or SD cards. Don't ever leave your laptop unattended. Don't carry it by the lid or battery or swing it around everywhere. So you can tell them from experience how it breaks, but what happens if it just doesn't work? That's where I come in. Sometimes your laptop just doesn't work, and it's not your fault. Here are some ways you can correct the problem. Have you tried restarting it? You can try restarting it, just don't close the screen. Check your battery or your wireless connection. 
If it's still not working, you can go to the library and connect to an Ethernet cable to restart your computer. If it's still not working, you'll have to get help from the school's computer person. The school has a computer person. You'll want to be very nice to them. They can help you out. You'll have to complete a computer repair form and create a help desk ticket. You should be able to do this at the library. Check with the teacher. The school will loan you a computer while yours is being repaired. If you have things to save, they need to be saved onto the OneDrive. That way they'll be safe no matter what happens to your laptop. Or who. You don't want the school taking away your netbook, even though it's just for school stuff only. So make sure you follow the copyright laws. Only view content allowed by the district's network. Don't download any new programs, games, movies, or anything else. Don't mess with the network security, and please leave the barcode on the laptop. Some of these things are illegal, and other things just wreck your computer. Plus, it makes it twice as hard for it to work. She's right. Trust me, this one time I was editing this video on my mom's laptop, and I downloaded this free editing software, and it gave my mom's laptop a virus, and there were all these pop-ups, it was running really slow. Don't tell mom. One last thing. Don't be a jerk online. Bullying or harassing hurts, whether it's face-to-face -face or on a computer. Your teachers will tell you a lot more about the district acceptable use procedures, the things I've just been talking about. You need to read it once so you know to stay out of trouble. The school's discipline policy applies to laptop use. You could lose it or even possibly cause a police investigation if you break these rules. Laptops are expensive, and we're lucky to have them. With great power comes great responsibility. <laughs> Nerd. So take care of your laptop, man.